Welcome to Trucks and Other Stuff. Today, we're gonna do a very simple test. Uh, I wanna find out if the um, the Adel Leafs actually help the ride, well, help the positioning uh, and the sag of uh, my truck when I pull a trailer. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna hook up my trailer to the truck and see how much it sags. So, gonna be pretty, pretty simple. Um, but beforehand, I wanna remind you of the 1,000 subscriber challenge here on the channel, Trucks and Other Stuff. When I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm gonna give away a free light bar to a random subscriber. So go ahead and smash the subscribe button and we'll continue uh, to work on this F-250 together as well as some other projects with, uh, say, my Suburban and some stuff around the shop. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, back up the truck here to the trailer. Let's, I'll show you my trailer a little bit here. You can see it back there. That's my trailer. And uh, we're going to, we're going to measure how uh, the dis distance between the tire and the wheel well and measure it before and after. And then as well, just take a look around at the truck after we hook it up and see if the uh, ride height is uh, reasonable. So that's what we're gonna do, and I uh, hope you enjoy. Here we go. All right, I have my handy dandy tape measure right here. We're gonna go ahead and measure right now the distance up here from the top of the fender to the top of the wheel, and it appears to be we're gonna go with ten and a half inches right there. Ten and a half inches. We're gonna go to the other side and just double check that it's similar. This one's a little higher. All right, we're gonna double check this again when we get right up to the trailer, right there, and uh, we'll see how much it sags. So here we go. there because I'm gonna lower it down right back down here in a second first couple things I noticed is I need to air up my tires a little bit can't really tell that without a trailer on there because uh, the back is pretty much empty nothing in there right now nothing heavy in there that is some random things but uh it appears that I do have Still a little bit of rake like I want. It's pretty level. But we're gonna go ahead and test and see what we have for measurements. Distance from tire to metal. Okay, so this side appears to be pretty close to that ten and a half, or like ten and a quarter mark right now. Side. 
we've got over here. Go ahead and take a look. Anything in there. It's about nine, nine and a quarter. So we have, so we have about an inch, an inch of squat. Well, let's go ahead and we'll measure the front. So one side was ten and a quarter. This side was about nine and a quarter. In the front, like this, very same spot. Okay, so we're about eight and three quarters. Then we're on to the passenger side. On this side, about ten. So, so we do have about an inch, inch and a half of difference between the two. So that's good. So even when I go over bumps and stuff, I should be able to keep uh, a solid stance, which I'm pretty excited about. I didn't like how bad it squatted. So again, this is my Diamond Cargo 16 foot V-nose enclosed trailer. And uh, so yeah, I found out what I wanted to know. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'd uh, hit the subscribe button again, thousand subscriber challenge. I uh, will keep you updated about this truck and, and my Suburban and what's going on. We'll have some repairs coming up pretty soon. Uh, a ball, ball joint repair, a wheel bearing repair that's coming up. Um, so yeah. Stay tuned for those things. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Again, it's trucks and other stuff. Um, wish you a great day.